Namaste. Welcome to your practice. We're going to start with using some bricks and a belt. So if you haven't got these available right now, I suggest you just pause the video and go and get yourself a couple of bricks and a strap, or even a couple of books of a similar size, or a couple of piles of magazines, um, or even some cushions would really help. We're going to start by um, placing the bricks underneath our spine to bring a little bit of flexibility to the spine and also to open the chest as we work through our breathing. And we're going to use the strap to open our hips. So let's start. I'm going to place the bricks like this underneath me, widthways across my bag. I'm going to have this brick, I'm probably going to need it under my head. And take the belt. Bring the belt around your back, your lower back. The feet are in cobbler's position, Barakonasan, and we take the belt underneath the feet. And then we take the belt like this, using the clasp to tighten the belt. You can tighten it up a little bit more once you're down, so you don't have to do it completely tight to begin with. And then gently ease yourself down. Bottom is on the floor. Have your arms by your sides with your palms up. And allow yourself to start to fall into the void. The space where the thoughts subside. Where we no longer get tangled in the waves of the thoughts. We bring the attention to the physical body. The vessel, the container on a temporary basis for the soul. We want to purify, cleanse, strengthen the physical form. We want to draw our attention then to our breathing. Maybe noticing which nostril is more open When you feel ready, start to lengthen the exhalations and allow the inhalations to take care of themselves. And then we'll work today with Ujjayi breathing it's a really slow, calming breath. As we breathe in, the navel draws back towards the spine. And as we breathe out, we release the navel from the spine. At the same time, we close the glottis area down a little at the throat. And there's a sonorous sound of soul as we breathe in and hum as we breathe out. So we breathe in, drawing navel to spine to the sound of soul. And we breathe out, we release the navel from spine to the sound hum. Inhaling, navel to spine, to the sound of soul. Exhaling, releasing the navel from the spine, to the sound of hum. Feeling the chest widen and expand on the inhale.
take three more of these Ujjayi breaths. good back to normal breathing turn the palms down press the elbows in tuck the chin in and gently drawing yourself up into a seated position remove the belt from around your legs you may need that again later so don't let it be too far away from you stretch your legs give them a little move going to remove my bricks again let them be quite close to you in case you need them again later and then we'll take a brick like this so supported setter band um, to begin with heels in line with the buttocks we're going to take the brick and I'm going to inhale and start to lift the spine off of the floor as I start to bring the shoulder blades together I can take my brick underneath the sacral spine, either on its side like this, or flatter if that's better for you, or if you have lots of mobility in that area, on the highest part of the brick. Anchor down through your feet, interlock your hands, that will give a nice opening in the chest once more as you bring the hands towards your feet. If that's enough for you, stay here. Otherwise, if you'd like to add in the leg raises, lift your right leg, squeezing the inner thighs together. Straighten that leg as much as you can. Push up through the heel. Gently release that leg down, ground your foot before you lift your left leg. And release that foot to the floor. Feel steady down through both feet. Then lift up onto your toes, release the brick. This time, take the hand, if you can, underneath the back of the pelvis. Lift your right leg once more. Release that leg down. And then lift the left leg. Gently release, both feet to the floor, bring your arms by your side, starting at the top of the spine, gently release each vertebra down to the floor, the bottom will touch the ground last, very good, just take little goddess arms here, let the legs fall to the right, and it doesn't matter if they rest on the brick and the head to the left, Back to centre, head to the right, legs to the left. I love just to allow the body to neutralise once again with these gentle twists after the back arching. Back to centre, good. We're going to use this brick now and place it in between the thighs and grip the brick with the thighs. You can have your arms by your side, alternatively you can take them up over your head. Lift and straighten the legs, keep gripping the brick with your legs. Inhale and exhale, abdomen engaged as you lower the legs down. Hold the 
over the heels off of the floor, inhale, exhale, legs up, inhale, exhale, lower the legs, hover, inhale, exhale, lift the legs, Inhale, exhale, lower the legs. Good, feet down to the floor this time. Let the heels and the feet relax. We'll use that now with a stomach and spinal twist, taking the arms out, palms up. Grip the brick again once more with your legs. Lift the legs up. Lift your buttocks, turn toes to the hand, inhale, exhale, and lowering the feet towards your hands, keep gripping the brick, keep that opposite shoulder down, don't let the feet fall to the floor, and if that shoulder starts to lift because you're down here, you've gone too far, lift the legs back up, lift the buttocks, toes, turn the toes to the other side, inhale, Exhale, lower the legs down as I'm keeping my shoulder rooting down to the floor. Next exhale, legs back up. Good, two more to each side, buttocks lift, keep gripping that brick, lowering the legs. Back to centre, buttocks lift, toes turn, lower down. Back to centre, one more to each side. Last one. Very good, and with the next exhale, we'll control the descent. Good, we'll release the grip of the brick, let the feet relax, bring the arms in, and relax, relaxing the abdomen and the legs. Good. Release the brick from between the legs, draw the thighs up to the chest, forehead to knees, roll to the right, press the left hand down, and come up onto your hands and your knees. When you're ready, inhale, exhale, take Adho Mukha your down dog, opening the back of your legs, pushing the heels back, pressing back through the heels of your hands, spreading your fingers, opening your armpits, spreading your toes, Very good, bend the knees. Take the hands a little um, further forward than the shoulders and the knees further back than the hips this time. Roll the toes under, inhale, exhale. Hips up, head down. Inhale forward to high plank. And this time draw the forehead to the knee right side release left side release two more on both sides one more last one good push back to down dog Come forward to your plank, bring your knee this time to the back of the arm, hold, and release, left side, and release, right side, and release, left side, and release, down dog. Down dog. 
inhale forward, exhale down, inhale rise, exhale go back. Lift your right leg up, look through your hands and bring the leg into one legged pigeon, left leg behind you, arms by your sides, roll the shoulders back, look up, look forward, interlock your hands behind you, next exhale, fold forward, keep lifting the arms, Inhale, lift, release the arms, walk the back leg in, down dog. Left leg lifts, swing through, right leg back, make sure it's in a straight line behind you. Take your time, no rush, arms by your side. Look up. Look forward, interlock your hands behind you, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift, release the hands. Walk the back leg in and release the leg. Very good. Inhale forward, Chaturanga, exhale down. Inhale up dog, exhale down dog. Look through your hands, walk the right foot to the hands. Bring your hands slightly further forward, inhale hop up, exhale fold forward, as you do so bring the hands back, keep lifting the back leg, work on kissing your shin, look up, bring the right hand out to the side, just cup your fingers, lift the head and chest. Flex the toes on that lifted leg now towards your head. Hand to the waist, bend the front leg, release the back leg down, straighten your front leg, lift up, Trikonasana, your triangle. Take the bound version of this, bend the front leg slightly, wrap the right arm behind the thigh, left hand behind you. Then when you feel steady and secure, straighten the standing leg, the front leg. Good, bend the front leg now. Ease the back foot back slightly. Release your bind. Walk the hands forward. Take your legs as wide as you can. Prasarita Padottanasan. Inhale, look up. Exhale, fold forward. Keep the back as flat as you can. Bring the hands in line with the feet or take a brick here. No problem at all. That's absolutely fine. If the crown of the head, the top of the head can work down to the floor, place it onto the floor. Your arms become parallel, lift up on your toes. That's all you have to do. If you feel steady and balanced, then lift up.
release down. Lift the head up. Walk the hands forward. Bring the left hand under your face. Inhale, twist, keep the hips level. Bring the right hand down. Lift the left hand. Release the left hand back to the floor. When you're ready, walk round, turn the left foot out, the right foot in, going into our standing split. Walk the hands forward, lift up with the back leg. Exhale, fold. Into your half moon, bring the left hand out. Move my hair out of the way. Lift your chest, lift your arm. Top hand, top hip, ground down through your back foot. Steady through your feet, push the weight back through that back foot. Open up. Bend the front leg at the knee a little, take the bind, left hand under, and if you can't grab the bind, then have a belt here, and you'll use the belt, so take the belt round the back this way is easier, and then like this, and you might not be able to get the bind, but you can use the belt. Bend the front leg, ease the feet a little further open. Gently release, walk the hands back round to the front, organise your feet, take your feet as wide as you can. Inhale, look up, exhale, fold forward, bring the hands forward, turn the heels in and the toes out, ready to come up from you for your goddess, inhale, lift, bend your legs, open your arms, bring the knees back, Very good, stand up, hands to waist, roll the shoulders back, lift the energy up through the body, fold forward. As the hands come down, turn the feet in, heels out, fold. Inhale, lift, take the right foot out and the left foot in. And just start to bend the left knee to the floor, Get the right toes, lift them, and slide the heel away from you. Sliding the left knee back into your Hanumanasan. Don't worry if you can't go down into full pose, just work where you are. As I then come onto my bottom, into Upper Vista Konasan, inner thighs up, outer thighs down. Inhale, exhale, walk the hands forward. Keep back flat, chest coming through, shoulders. Maybe you can have the um, forearms onto the floor, maybe not. And an indicator if the thighs have started to relax and collapse is the feet rolling. So the toes should be facing up to the ceiling. Right on the exhales. And 
Inhale, lifting the head and chest up. I'm going to come over to the other side now. Take my hands round to the left. Lift my bottom up. Bend onto that knee. And there I am, nearly in my Hanumanasana already. Let that front leg come forward. Right knee back. And gently release release onto your bottom very good bring the left foot to the right and sit into Dandas just be steady here when you're ready we're going to swing the legs round behind us for us and sit the bottom in between the heels the feet are alongside the buttocks and we're going to work with Kapotasan, which is our pigeon pose. We did the one-legged pigeon earlier, now we're doing full pigeon Kapotanasan. So we work back like this. I'm then going to take my hands as if I were doing wheel pose. So I'm going to bring my hands underneath my shoulders like this. I'm going to come up onto the top of my head as I lift the hips and bring the hands to my chest. Bring the hands back to the floor, lift the head, tuck the chin in and relax. Press the hands into the soles of the feet, elbows in, ease yourself up. Bring the legs out in front of you to do our full wheel. Second back arch. Heels under, heels of hands under the shoulders, the heels of your feet in line with the buttocks. When you're ready, we'll move on the exhale, inhale, exhale, push up. Gently release down. Very good. Hug in, arms across the body cross your legs, let the legs fall to the left and the head to the right. Back to centre, change the cross of the hug and the cross of the legs. Back to centre, release, roll over to the right, left hand down, come up into sitting, stretch your legs and I'm going to use the belt for the final twist. So <clears throat> what we're going to do is tuck the left foot underneath the right buttock, sit the buttock into the inner arch of the foot, bring the left foot across. So feed your belt through your legs and then I'm going to bring my right hand round and grab the belt and bring my left elbow to my knee and then hold the belt. I'm going to hold the belt tightly and let that take me into the twist. Inhale, exhale and twist. Now back to center, change the cross of the legs, feet 
bead the belt through. Inhale, exhale, and twist. Release from the twist. Give your legs some movement and then come and lay into your final shavasana, your relaxation. Into the void. Let the feet flop out to the side. Arms a little away from the body. I'll say thank you very much for sharing practice. Until we meet again on the online community. Please enjoy your relaxation and your yoga practice. Please give us some good feedback and likes if you've liked what you practiced today. Please post on the forums and share your family and share with your family and friends. Namaste.